Hello, everyone. My name is Andres Abeta. I'm the director of Bootcamp GIS. And, Hi, uh, okay. Great how are you, you doing, Hide? Great. Thank you for this opportunity. Our, uh, our platform uh, has people like Hide, who is uh, a subject matter expert that is giving his expertise on projects that people do in the GIS industry. So we have full of courses on G uh, GIS workflows. And so we're here today to talk to him about how he got here today, presenting his class, and uh, and I'll get started with you, Hide. Um, how did you know that you wanted to become a GIS analyst? That's really uh, an interesting thing that people find themselves all of a sudden today with a career. You know, what was the inspiration? Yeah, um, I since I was a um, uh, like high school kid, I really uh, wanted to do environmental protection. So uh, I um, well started learning many different disciplines, but uh, in them, I got really interested in GIS. Uh, it, I, I really just liked it. It's, uh, it, it's really analytical. Also uh, making map is very like, it, it uh, requires like creative artistic uh, kind of skills and yeah. Um, I just really liked it. So uh, I uh, decided to learn GIS in graduate school. And yeah, that's how I learned GIS um, analysis. And then as I um, um, work with GIS, Esri has added many um, uh, tools like um, web app builder, exp experience builder, and I naturally um, um, I started learning web app development. Um, yeah, that's how I uh, got to know GIS and web development. So web development is one of these skills, everybody, that usually we don't learn in school. We just kind of <laughs> maybe get a taste of Python or something, and and then you've got to either figure it out on the job or find a class like he this he that uh is has a class on our platform that's called the development of gis web applications and web maps to um show how to report water quality issues among other types of issues that people and as citizens might report to their cities um so along this path of, of growing and learning in your career what types of projects uh did your employers ask you to participate in uh, when I was working at Nature Conservancy, my supervisor wanted to me make a story map. Uh, well, uh, that the project is to kind of uh, promote a a landowners to uh, have a place for. Um, uh, to 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 be to be kind of designate the land to be protected you know not, like not touched by for human development and for that uh they wanted to have map and also some explanation with map not just map but it, but you know it uh why this land is important how we use it in i uh, get this uh web app on the story map and have you know some nice uh web page you know write like add pictures and text uh also uh the supervisor wanted me to kind of customize the super i mean story map so uh, i used uh, html javascript to make some changes yeah that's um one of the projects um, I had done using my GIS and web development skills, and I really enjoyed. But uh, it requires a lot of you know skills, and this course really um, enables you to learn this you know kind of uh, skills to make web uh, web page uh, and web apps uh, with you know like map applications. You know, web uh, uh, experience builder and some of the Esri web building tools is pretty new. I'm curious, where did you go to uh, get your master's degree and did they have any classes on learning that or did you learn it all on the job? 
actually, um, my master's um, program, well, I graduated um, from my master's program about 10 years ago. So at that time, there was no such like experience builder or uh, web development application. So that's what I learned uh, through my career. Like, you know, the, the supervisor, nature consultancy supervisor wanted to me make you know, that kind of story map. So I learned by myself spending a lot of time. Um, yeah, uh, through this course, I just share what I've learned. Yeah, this is typical in tech. So it doesn't matter what you learned five or 10 years ago. The tech changes so quickly that it's like new uh, user interfaces and versions of software and, and tools and extensions that are part of the job now. And and that's why I think your class is awesome because it can show you in a short amount of time. <laughs> you could spend three or four weeks to learn what you probably it took you three or four years to figure out and share to others, right? Right. <laughs> um, I'm curious, since you're uh, from Japan, um, there will be other international students and people from different destinations wondering, you know, how your path to get here. But I'm curious, does, does Japan uh, have the same popularity or interest in GIS as we would have here in the United States? And, um, and why did you come to the United States to kind of pursue, you know, this tech career? In the United States, uh, I see GIS is more popular uh, than Japan. Many people use like, uh, government, you know, officers use GIS. Many companies, you know, use GIS. Uh, so, um, I am. Um, um, I would say, you United States is a very good place to learn. You know, state of the art uh, GIS skills. Um, I came to the United States to learn. Uh, about environmental protection at the time, um, U.S. Um, well, in, in Japan there was no like um, ma like environmental science major or environmental studies major, but that was about twenty years ago. So I came here to study, you know, those um, uh, major uh, in the United States. Students, well, in general, students in general want to learn. Uh, new things and GIS is, yeah, becoming much popular and popular. So yeah, it's 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 great to learn. So you must be a good instructor because you have this wide range of skill sets. And I'd like the audience to know, what do you think the percentage of web development skills that you used ten years ago versus mm -hmm. today? Uh, ten years ago, what percent? Today, what percent web development for a GIS analyst? 10 years ago, you know, around people, you know, uh, I was working, I really didn't see any person who was using web development. So I would say zero percent. Zero. <laughs> but uh, now, um, yeah, um, GIS, you know, many, most GIS professionals know it can be used. Uh, on web applications, like you know, um, people use like Google Maps and uh, for navigation, you know, car navigation purposes. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I as a GIS professionals, I would say, well, me <laughs> thirty to fifty percent uh, really related to uh, web applications. All right. So that's a good barometer to have is if you're half your job is web development, then you should be developing right. uh, GIS developer skills. So yeah. that leads me to my next question for you is what do you think is the right software stack to add to your portfolio to, you know, make you marketable as a, a GIS slash web developer? Yeah. Um, well, to, to claim a web developer, uh, you want to uh, be able to say, you know, you can develop website. So for that, uh, WordPress uh, is one of the um, most popular software well, uh, platforms people use to develop website. Could be uh, like Wix or Google site, but um, well, 
WordPress is one of them. And for the GIS part, uh, ArcGIS Web Developer uh, is a great tool to create uh, web apps, Experience Builder, um, also ArcGIS Field Maps uh, is great to uh, create a um, uh, uh, apps on uh, on cell phone. So, yeah. Uh, and for the, the, the three programs I mentioned, uh, you're going to learn how to use these uh, apps to create web applications. So, yeah, again, this course will be very good way to learn to become web developer. So I also notice in your class, you have a significant portion where you're using Python and Notebook. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's uh, another great skill to have to claim a uh, web developer. Um, it, it's, it's great to know uh, coding, programming, so that you can customize the uh, website you created or uh, web apps you created. Yeah. So it's, it, it, yeah, it's great to have that skill. And also you're gonna learn how to use Python uh, notebooks in this course. So Hida, now that you see that GIS is a combination of GIS plus IT and there's some overlap, can you share to the audience where some of the places that you learn these skills? Cause you say you, you learned on, on the fly, on the job, but there must've been some resources. Yeah. Um, I would say, well, um, I really learned by myself. So uh, what I used is uh, the certificate programs um, that gives like training courses or webinars. Uh, you could use, um, you could find YouTube or it, it really depends on your project, you know, what skills uh, you'd like to acquire. and. Uh, you are taking, you know, uh, you know, bootcamp GIS. That the best resource, I believe. Yeah, there are uh, other classes that you'll uh, build into your resource list off to learn cloud, like an AWS or Python or WordPress. Just go to YouTube, um, and you can patch them all together. But one yeah. one streamlined workflow is your class uh, that would be really accessible on bootcamp GIS. Yeah. Um, so what do you think is the learning timeline? You know, you say you learned it by yourself um, on your job, but, you know, going from a GIS analyst with, you know, ArcMap desktop or ArcGIS Pro skills, you know, how long could you say it would take me to say, hey, yeah, I've got GIS developer skills? Well, to to me, my, my uh, I, I spent years to learn programming skills and web development skills. Um, um, I um, saw like the tutorials, videos to figure out, but that figuring out part takes a lot of time. Uh, well, really, this course um, enables you to uh, um, learn many things, you know, like programming, like you do Python or uh, web development skills with WordPress and web applications, development skills with the uh, uh, experience builder, uh, field maps, web app builders uh, within like, 24 hours of, you know, uh, this course. So yeah, uh, it's this course uh, really enables you to learn um, really quickly, efficiently. So I'll expand upon that. So your course is 24 hours of project time, not just one 24 hour day. And most of our students will complete that in about four weeks. Yeah. So then once you have that workflow, then you practice for a couple more months and add some more tools on there. So the timeline to be able to acquire tech skills has really been collapsed. People are learning these things in the shorter time frame all the time. So it's no longer in terms of semesters. It's in terms of maybe a few months to you know, learn, then practice. So that's what I'm seeing. So Hida, can you uh, tell the audience, what is a couple of really good model web apps they can check out so they can see, oh, this is, this is what I would hope to build as a GIS developer? 
uh, the one developed by Orange County in Florida. It's called Water Quality Dashboard. It has um, uh, well maps and there's a list of uh, kind of districts. And if you click a, each district, uh, it shows you the water quality, like five uh, water uh, parameters, like chlorophyll, nitrogen level, phosphorus level, uh, with gauges, and that gauge has um, like uh, different colors to show if it's in dangerous level or a safe level. I really um, liked it. So um, uh, in this course, you will replicate the this um, uh, water quality dashboard using your county. Could be um, if you follow. Um, my instruction, uh, you're gonna create um, the county where I live. But um, yeah, uh, it's up to you. Another website um, I uh, find very um, impressive is called Citizens um, Problem Reporter in uh, DuPage County, Illinois. Uh, it allows uh, people to submit um, kind of uh, problem report uh, through online and you can select uh, locations or map and you can submit a uh, pictures and for this uh, web app you're gonna uh, create very similar uh, web app in this course uh, using your county. So, well that's... excellent. Those are good tips. Thanks, Hide. Um, I hope uh, people on the audience have taken uh, note of some of these resources. Also seen the ramp up is pretty short to become a GIS web developer. If you apply yourselves, there's a lot of people that get kind of the desktop or the just uh, standard mapping skills coming out of college. Um, and we see, we've written a report on the career marketability on um GIS web development, GIS slash IT, and this combination of these skills making you much more marketable for the current 26,640 something jobs that uh, you can find requiring GIS skills on Indeed today. So to learn these quickly, you can come and see our workflows in various uh, significant areas and projects like, like he this. And uh, that's at bootcamp, bootcampgis.com. Uh, where you can get a certificate or just take an individual class if you like. So uh, come talk to us if you want a free advisement, and we'd be happy to jump on a call with you and see where your background needs to dovetail into some, some new training. All right. Thank you, everybody. Nice uh, talking to you, Hide. Thank you. Have a good day.